So we are, we are in a motorcycle campground, so you may hear some background motorcycle noises from the neighbors. But what we got is a tire pressure monitoring system for motorcycles, designed for motorcycles. The same one that's on, uh, I believe it's the same manufacturer that does the ones for uh, trailers, for uh, travel trailers. Uh, but this one is designed for motorcycles, so it runs at a lower pressure. It's Bluetooth, they're Bluetooth. They're small little uh, devices. They don't weigh anything, so they won't affect your balance on your tires. Um, super simple to install, it looks like. They, this piece comes apart. There's a little small, they give you pr a pretty nice little kit, actually. This fits in here like this, and you can unscrew this to replace the batteries. Um, but they also give you replacement O-rings, and there's also two locking nuts so you can securely put these on and tighten them and keep them from um, getting stolen. Uh, that's really, it's not mandatory that, they, that the locking nuts um, are secured on there. So anyways, let's put a battery in. I just received these. So we're just going to install these today, see how they work, and then later on I'll give you a better um, indication of how they work and, and what happens. But I believe that this would be really handy to have, especially if you're pulling a trailer behind your bike. I believe these are going to be a great safety feature to, to keep uh, tabs on your tire pressure for sure. So anyways, you install this, plus side up, and then screw this back on. And now there is a gasket in there, so there, it does have a gasket to keep it uh, on. And I don't know if anybody saw that. I went backwards first before I went forwards, righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's to make sure these threads are seated correctly and not to cross thread. So I'll put these nice and snug so that gasket fits in there. And then I'll do the other one here next. Well, I'm excited about this because we've been putting on a lot of miles and it's just, I, I haven't run across losing, a blow, having a blowout or losing pressure to where it gets sloppy, but we've had that before with other bikes. So this I think is just a key to keep it you know, just another another layer of safety because you only got two wheels and no doors. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put these two on my bike. Give me a second. So there was a little release of air. Tiny bit. They said to screw it in firmly and as quickly as possible. And then you can show this here. You download this app, Tire Minder TPMS. How about that? It's at the base. Add a tire. Touch here to add the front tire. There it is. It's 59 degrees Fahrenheit and it's at 34 PSI. So I'm going to do, since this is set up for both a motorcycle, right, for two wheels or a trike, you can use it for a trike. I'm going to basically set up two motorcycles. So two for the motorcycle and two for the trailer. Okay. Tad here to add the rear tire. Oh, my rear tire is a little lower. One thing I want to monitor is just having this app live in the background all the time. What, how, how is it going to affect the battery life on the phone since it's constantly pulling it? Also, it's Bluetooth. Will I be able to connect to my Bluetooth on my Cena to listen to music and it not affect this. So those are some things I'm going to be checking. Well, I had something hit the bike or I ran over something. It sounded like a tire pop, like a maybe a rock got flicked out underneath it, but it was definitely an odd sound. So I went into the uh, TPMS, checked it. Made sure tire pressures were all good. Tire pressures are all good. No over temperature, nothing like that. So that's pretty handy to have. Yeah. Not have to pull over and double check your tires and like, oh, there it is. It's all good. Yeah, that's actually very handy. Yeah, that was there's, actually there's very no handy. To, there's no place to pull over right now. Right, right. And it was a, definitely an odd sound. I don't know if I, 
I, I've noticed we've we've noticed some. They look like apples that have fallen in the road. And I'm wondering if I hit one of those and didn't know it. Yeah. Because it's had a pop, a real high pop sound. Oh, okay. So, but it was nice to look back on the in the app. Just flip the app open and bam. Okay, everything's there. No, no awkward pressures, no awkward temperatures, or nothing like that. So. Sweet. Out, and I've been using them now for about a month, month and a half. And a couple things I want to go over. One, the first thing is, is that they're small. They screw directly onto the valve stem. There is a locking nut that's on there uh, that you can use to secure it, to keep people from stealing it. If you're around your bike all the time like I am, I, I didn't. it's not mandatory, you don't have to have it. Another thing is, is that it's, uh, it's Bluetooth. It's just running in the background. It's not affecting any other Bluetooth devices you have, like our Cena's uh, run on Bluetooth and it didn't affect it connecting to the Cena's or, or anything like that. It also does not use a lot of battery. I, it, I didn't notice any difference on my battery life uh, on, the, on the phone. I was kind of concerned about that with something that's constantly running on it. So what it does is it's monitoring when, it's, when they're connected to your phone and connected to the app, they're running about every six seconds, it's, it's constantly updating what the tire pressure is and the temperature of that sensor. Now, one thing I did notice with the Harley is that sometimes I'll come to a stop or we're in a stop sign, you know, at a stoplight or, or whatnot in a city. And if that valve stem is at the top on the back tire, if it's at the top, the heat from the exhaust and whatnot has given me an error where it said it was a 218 degrees once I got rolling and everything cooled back down again. But that's something to think about. It gave me an alert, so I knew, I knew that the app was working in the background because it gave me that alert real quick. Now, one thing I did notice about the uh, connection of it is that when I have the tires, everything's connected and rolling down the road, we're all good. And then we step off and I go into a, um, go into a restaurant or we step away from the bike for a little bit, I get an alert. I get a banner alert that says no tire pressure, lost tire pressure, all four tires. All four tires are flat. Well, it's not, it's just lost the signal. Now, when you come back in this, when you come back to your bike and you check that app right away, it's not going to show that the tires are there, that, that any sensor is there yet. It, it'll take about six minutes. It takes a little bit for it to reconnect and then start logically thinking, okay, I, I, I'm here. I've got everybody here. I'll start monitoring every six seconds now. So it takes a few minutes for that to reconnect. But once you get it, so it's not something that you have to constantly open the app, search for the device, close the app. I, I did that a couple times just to make sure that things were working. <laughs> but after a while, I you know forgot about it, not thinking about it, and just had my phone sitting in my cradle. Everything was connected. Everything was fine. I did know it was working because I got an alert saying it was, a, I think it was 197 degrees because we were stopped at a stoplight and that sensor must have been at the very top or right next to the exhaust or something. This, this tire pressure monitoring system kind of gives you some peace of mind. Uh, knowing, especially in a trailer or you guys out there pulling those big bunkhouse campers uh, with those little 12 inch wheels, or whatnot having some kind of a tire pressure monitoring system i think is uh is kind of critical you know I, I know i will be keeping them on the harley and on whatever trailer that we're pulling here in the future innovation energy group thumbs up thanks mike for reaching out really appreciate it also for all of the viewers out there it's uh two wheels in the discount code and the the, the link will be down below two wheels is your discount code and you get five dollars off all right, man, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys received these, if you've used them before, I'd uh, be really interested. So far, I, I think they're awesome. I think it works out really good. Thanks.